So hello my dear brothers and today I want to congratulate you with that fact that it is our first campaign in 2023 and today we are going to conquer the whole Eurasia as the Russian state with the great Russian washed. And I'm not even joking. So today we will play as the Russian Republic in Kaiser Redux. We are going to bring Savinkov to the power here and after that create the great Russian state. And our sphere of influence will spread to the whole Eurasia, probably to the Northern Africa and Australasia. And please guys, don't connect this campaign with nobody's situation in the world, with nobody's Russia. We are playing Kaiser Redux, it's alternative world with its own specific, it doesn't have any connection with nobody's Russia, with uh, nobody's situation in the world, so please. Nowadays situation is one scene, but Kaiser Redux and campaign here is the other scene. So without further interruption, let's start our campaign and as always, enjoy! Well, Russian economy, it's not even interesting to read, but I've got only one question. Where is my petroleum and gas in this text? Cause I didn't see those words here. We should strengthen the economy. Of course we need. We need to get more petroleum and gas and sell it to the Europe. And one of my most favorite scenes playing Russia is that we have the Russian parliament and mechanics of it, which works pretty good. We've got the system of Duma and Senate. Государственная Duma. What about different demonstrations and protests in our country? We will let everyone protest and make demonstrations, cause we need to elect a normal government. We don't need any revolutions right now, please. We had two revolutions in the past two decades. It's good enough for us. Uh, you see that Black Monday has hit Russia and now we need to choose between two plans that were presented to us. So we've got the Duma plan and we got the Senate plan. Senate plan is a non-radical plan of the non-radical leftist and rightist, uh, but we don't need it because we need to elect NRPR and they are actually in the... We can't call it coalition, they are like in a gang with the different interesting dudes who are left radicals and some of them are like close to left radicals. But still, we will, pop, we will hide the popularity of all of them. So yeah, actually if you want to bring an RPR you will uh, hide the popularity of different left radicals in your country. You need to be ready for this. And if you choose the Duma plan, you will make the based decision, you will nationalize the German assets, cause Germans in our country after we lost war to them? Hell no, we will nationalize their capital. Meanwhile in the Senate plate, to Senate plate, Senate plan you will just devolve the ruble, increase taxes, as boring it's uh, non-schizophrenic, we need to nationalize the German assets as fast as we can. Wow, what an unexpected turn of feelings! Victory of the NRPR! Damn, I like this icon, it looks so epic, Russian flag, SWAT, and this symbolic, I don't know how to call it, but it just looks epic. And we have unlocked our own new focus tree line of bringing Savinkov to the power. And after completing this focus tree line, we will finally get Savinkov and his focus tree line, main focus tree line. Stupid liberals wants to confront the Duma. Dmitry Romanov is a legitimate president of Russia, and that's our point. Well, after liberals we got event about first woman's division of death. This is unacceptable. Woman must be in the kitchen not forming the division of death. Hell no. 
As I see, Savinkov is a polite and a good man who wants to make the best things to the Russia. So we need to make everything by the law. So we will find the support in Duma, neither than making some revolutionary scenes and dealing with the revolutionaries. No, we will just go step by step by reforming our constitution, reforming our government and making prime minister as president. No coups, no military juntas, just fair elections. Holy shit, our coalition with socialists is back. A new ally from the past. Revolution in the Don Republic. You know, I've got two options. Don't give a fuck about them. And the first option, it looks so epic. Remind him how Lenin finished. Well, we need to remind them. And also we will conquer for free new lands in the mainland Russia. And finally we got our own president, Dmitry Odinets, which was candidate from the NRPR before. So he is just our puppet, he is a puppet of the Boris Viktorovich Savinkov. You know, conquering this dude is pretty funny, cause we don't even fight with them, we just go by our worms, and that's all. Only 9 people has died from the our side. I can say that it was a peaceful reintegration of Don Kuban Union. What about our capital? Of course, fuck Petrograd, cause it was an imperial capital, which is Moscow. And you remember my words, guys. If we can use diplomacy, we will begin with the diplomacy. We will use our forces only if diplomacy doesn't work. Today, we will use the diplomacy first, too. And if it doesn't work, we will use our forces and get power with a struggle. So to go further and uh, push this button, Prime Minister is president, we need to make one interesting scene. We need to vote about it in the Russian parliament, so we need to merge Prime Minister and President office. Don't know why, but it always fails. Really don't know why, but let's lobby them uh, to vote for Senate. Because in Duma we have failed it. But I have lobbied everyone that I could. So it looks strange to me. Fix this system, please. Jesus Christ, are you fucking kidding me? It has failed. So the Constitutional Court refused amendments. Now we will take situation in our hands, cause motherland belongs to people, not to the liberals. Yes, we did it. Third Russian Revolution. The result of the third revolution is good. Savinkov is proclaimed divorced in the June 1937. Hail to the worst, to the Boris Viktorovich Savinkov. And now we got that epic color and name, Russian state. And actually, yeah, this is our new focus tree line, so we just need to search it, get a lot of buffs from here, and of course, go to the expansionism and conquer a lot of new lands. Plus, we need to get a lot of buffs for our army, because I didn't uh, search a lot. By the way, this focus tree line has blocked, so we can forget about it, and now we have only 4 focus tree lines. I don't like portrait of Savinkov that we have right now, so I'll choose the new one. And the new one is going to be portrait B. There he looks like an epic worst of all Russian people. Holy shit, Lenin is alive, but in Crimea. And it's not even a joke, it's Dmitry Ulyanov. Of course it's not Vladimir Ulyanov, it's his Bruda, but we will destroy his Bruda too. And of course the name of our fraction is going to be Moscow Accord. And the first thing that I want to do is to secure Central Asia and go into the Caucasus, as well as repudiate Treaty of Minsk. Russians have taken power in Kazakhstan, now they are Orenburg Kazakh host. That's pretty good that Russians have taken power, but they need to be loyal to us, so we will reintegrate those lands to the main Russia, to the Russian state. That's gonna be our first expansion as the Russian state, after capturing Don Kuban Union as the Russian Republic. 
And you know, I don't think that I need to show these workers, we know the final result of it. Turkestan has the same fate as Kazakhstan, so I will say goodbye to them. War means war. Minus Kazakhstan. Now let's destroy Turkestan. And finally minus Turkestan. But at the same time Belarus and Finland are waiting for us because they are non-aligned. The next question is going to be Belarusian question. Our expansion is unstoppable. So let's push the question of Belarus. Oh, well, our coup was successful, but they still left as the syndicalists. And now they are our puppet. Now let's deal with the Finland. Yeah, we got even about the successful coup in the Belarusian Workers' Socialist Republic, and we will just annex them. We don't need them. It's not Alexander Lukashenko. No, 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 no. Now, you know, we look even better and we've got their resources. And it's only year 1937. It has gone half a year since Savinkov took power in the Russia. And just look how much it has changed. We have annexed Belarus. We have fully reintegrated Central Asia and soon we are going to enter to, to enter uh, the South Russian lands and Caucasus. Oh my fucking god, what are we doing with this great Russian war? And Finland has refused to us, so they will be just annexed by us, you know. You can ask me, what will we do with the Far Eastern Republic of the Transamur? We all understand that it's a fake Russian state, yeah? But we don't want to kill our own people, our citizens. So Boris Savinkov suggests just the uh, referendum, to make referendum in Vladivostok to join us. People in Vladivostok and in the other Far Eastern cities see our successes and I think that they want to join us to be part of these successes. Man, you gotta be joking. Ukraine has fallen into the syndicalism. Okay, radical socialism. So now we can deal with Ukraine. And I won't joke about it, because, you know, YouTube can do something not good to me, so we will just go to Ukraine to deal with them. And minus Finland. Well, Ukraine has left the Reichs Pact and we can start giving passport and citizenship to every Russian in Ukraine. Let's do it. So it has actually worked. They have declared war on us. And as you can see, we have annexed the southern eastern part and the north and eastern part. Starodub, Konotop, Sumy, Hadach, Kharkiv, Luhansk, so on. And now we need to crush the rest part of it and go to the capital. Minus Ukraine. And again, you can see that now our territories look so cool. Even without any war with the Germans. Alright, so now our main goal is to destroy Crimea, to destroy Caucasus, and um, I don't know, capture other lands, probably uh, deal something with the Mongols. Kalmykia don't even want to fight, so welcome back boys, you made a good decision. I didn't even make a referendum in the Transamur and it has collapsed, so well, we will... Get Transamur back, just piece by piece destroying one of them, then another one. And also we will need to deal with the Japanese Empire. Minus Mountain, Socialist Republic. And now we will sit a little bit in peace, because just look at our logistic. We don't have infantry equipment, we don't have support equipment, we don't have artillery, we don't have anything. We just need to sit and chill for a year or something like that, and after that we can surely attack all of them, you know? You know, these icons. The Georgian question, referendum in Vladivostok, the Baku oil fields, the Mantua, attack Buryat Mongolian state, attack the provisional government of Yakutia with the flag of the German Empire. It looks so juicy and I want to push these buttons, but I know that it will be so hard to me to even conquer them. And we don't have anything, so we need to... First, we need to deal with that and after that we can continue our expansion, because you see, for the last year... We have conquered all these lands. Oh my god, it has gone only one year since Savinkov took power in Russia. So yeah, now we need just to chill a little bit and after that we will deal with the other dudes. 
you remember that I said that I want to crash Norway, but on the other hand, if they want to join our alliance, you're welcome, Bruda. So one year has gone since I recorded the last scene, and the most important thing is that now Kingdom of Italy has joined our fraction. Well, I have demanded Tuva, Ulala and Minusinsk from uh, Mongolia, and they have gave it to me. Anyway, let's uh, deal with the Georgia now. Well, they refused the referendum provisional Republic of Siberia, I made the coup, and Far East is Russian right now. Of course, I'll choose the first option, I'll just annex them. Now we just need to destroy the militant godless and stupid yeah, good socialist republic. And yeah, this is my walk in Georgia. We have captured Belize. now I can walk in Belize, chill and eat local dishes. And of course drink Georgian wine. And say goodbye to the Papa Stalin. So partition of Georgia looks like this. Okay, so this funny dude has agreed to join us. My next victim is going to be Yakutia. Status of Armenia is pretty simple too. It's Russian land. Even Yakutia has agreed to rejoin Russia. Alright, the Yakut government has agreed to join us. And Armenia didn't agree to join us. Fuck them. Um, alright, I can make a second referendum in Vladivostok to annex Enkaishu, which is a Japanese puppet. I didn't say that I can have two options of annexing Transamur, but let's try to do that. Oh, and yeah, goodbye Armenia. You know, my coup wasn't successful, but on the other hand, Japan didn't declare war on me, cause Enkaishu declared war on me, and they are just a puppet of the Empire of Japan, so they can't call Japan and technically we can just go and destroy them and get back Vladivostok. Bye bye, Japanese lapdog, and welcome back Vladivostok. A Russian San Francisco. Now we can see that Russia is reunited. Well, some parts are still occupied by the Empire of Japan, but we don't give a fuck about that. We will deal with that a little bit later. Now we have other problems. Um, oh, okay, so we signed the pact with the Japanese Empire. I have just demanded the button, well, give me back Sakhalin without Kuril Islands, you see. And they just gave me back everything, even my mainlands. It's okay, I love it. Yeah, the, the Empire of Japan agreed to sign the treaty. I guess while Fintian is at war against the whole China, we can try to claim Kawajada back, so that's gonna be the northeastern part of it, which was uh, lands of the Russian Empire, and I would like to take it back to me. So they just gave it to me, I think because they are at war with their Queen Empire and the airlines, but anyway, it's a great decision, you know man. And holy shit, now I need to integrate a millions of Chinese dudes into the Russia and teach them the Russian language. Oh my god. Yay, Kiwishdi is ours. You see that railroad through the Manjuria and now we control it and we control a lot of supply hubs here. Yay, we've got the super event, finally. Savinkov unites Russia, transforming Russia along the lines of Russian popular narodism. Savinkov's own syncretic ideology with no equal, the peasants of Russia have never been freer. And the quote of the day. One day the greater Russian Republic will be much stronger, richer and freer than the old Tsarist Empire. But how much blood will be shed? Boris Savinkov, the worst restores glory. But the worst still got a lot of stuff to do, he needs to liberate the whole Eurasia, you know? But now we are doing good enough with it too, even without a huge amount of wars, just our diplomacy and power. All respect Russia right here, so they don't even want to fight with us. For example, Japan, Fintian, a lot of Far Eastern states, Mongolia and some other dudes. That's how diplomacy needs to work. We can even turn back Alaska, plus that fact that they are the principality of Liechtenstein, Alaska. I think it will be much more easier to deal with them in that way, because they are like being in North America and in the Europe. Who cares about Alaska except Americans and Russians? No one. As I said, they don't even mind of it and everyone respects Russia, cause Russia America is coming back to the motherland. And I would like to see Alaska as a part of the Russian state, not as a puppet state. 
Don't forget about my war with Persia. Situation with Persia reminds me the phrase If you steal something, you will be responsible for it. That's about Persia. And that's how Persia looks right after the capitulation. So you see, I have annexed only my lands and that's all. And here we just have our pro-Russian government. Nothing more except the pro-Russian government. Mom is calling me, alright, I need to answer. And you know guys, our conquering of Eurasia has logic, cause you see that we will cooperate with Eurasisti and that means that we will take some points from the Eurasian ideology and the main one is conquering our neighbors and expanding Russian state lands. And by the way, we will crash Mongolia. July 1941, and I think that we are prepared now to intervene to the Second World Reich to fastly destroy Poland, Lithuania, Baltin, Deutscher, all Orden, uh, okay, tough name, and go easily to Berlin, capture it, and the whole Rex Pact will capitulate after that, and only after capitulation of German Empire we can deal with the Austrian Empire, and liberating Slavic Brudas. So let's crush the Rex Pact. In 40 days the Great Trial will start. Oh, and actually in my main focus tree line of Savinkov, we will search the final focus in this focus tree line, Hell to Washed. I think it's great that we're doing it before going to the Second World Strike, it's like the final step before the Great War. With the National Revolution complete, Savinkov can finally turn his attention to other pressuring matters, mainly the restoration of Russia's glory on the world stage. Wherever the worst shall lead, the nation will follow. Slava, Slava, Slava. Let's fucking go, the Russian state declared war on the Kingdom of Lithuania, and of course on the other funny dudes in the Eastern Front. Oh, and I forgot about aviation. Nice. You see that the current situation in air is good as well as it, it is good on the front line. We are pushing Poland, Lithuania and Baltic states. Oh shit, they have connected Bulgaria to this war, but I will deal with Bulgaria a little bit later. I know that we've got a Caucasian problem, but it's okay. I don't give a fuck about Bulgaria right now. I just need to go and capture Berlin. Man, it has gone only two months since we have started this war and, you know, I think uh, that by the end of this year this war will be ended up. And I'm really shocked with this blitzkrieg. I didn't think that it will go on this way or by this way. October 1941, Berlin has fall. Sheesh, man, Austria has joined this war. Yes, Germany has died in the middle of December 1941. So as I promised, the Great War will end up in 1941. At least with the German Empire. So the division of the Austro-Hungarian Empire looks like this. Also, I have taken a good part of the Switzerland. Ticino went to the Italy and Romandi went to the France. And my main goal now is to destroy Bulgaria, Greece and Turkey. 4th of March and they have capitulated and that means that now the whole Balkans are under our control. And the post-war Balkans looks like this, I have annexed those lands and will control also those lands. What about Cyprus? I'll probably give it to Turkey, cause Turkey is closer to the Cyprus. And just look at our sphere of influence by March 1942. Guys, forgot to tell you that Kingdom of Italy has attacked uh, Cairo Axis cause they wanted to capture Somalian lands, yeah. It happened around two years ago, but I don't actually care about that. But now, when we got cool positions in the Europe, now we need to chill before Kumunards destroy the Entente. We need to go and spread our influence right into the Cairo Axis, so we'll have some positions in Africa and in the Middle East, of course. So now we will go and capture new lands for Russia. Now we will join this war. Vroom, 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 vroom. Our tanks are going right into the Cairo and Alexandria. Now my boys have just conquered a lot of neutral states and I don't want to record it because it got no sense. I'll show you uh, the only huge scenes because material is too long even now. Even the graveyard of empires has fall because of our Russian forces. 
August 1942 is the right time to break the Iron Curtain and start the second great trial and now it's gonna be not the Deutsches Kaiserreich, it's going to be French Communards and Paris, not Berlin. The Russian state declared war on the Commune of France and let's go. The next stop of our tanks is going to be Paris. Paris against Moscow, such an epic event. We will crush the revolution just like in 1812. The end of the French Commune is coming closer and closer. We have captured the southern part of it and now moving closer and closer to the Paris. February 1943 and we got the fall of Paris. Yo guys! Just look what I have found, Republica Socialista Federativa Sovietica de Mexico. We found it, again, my lovely Spanish pronunciation. June 1943, the fall of London. London is the capital of the Union of Britain. That's the post-war Europe, we've got British Republic, which looks pretty strange with the strange flag, it's disgusting. We've got France and we've got a normal border between the German Union, France and normal Belgium with the screaming dude. And by the way, Italy has take new lands and everything is fine, I don't think that we need to expand in the Europe in the nearest future, I think it's quite enough for us. You see that Spain is still in the civil war for 7 or 6 years, Portugal isn't in the Entente, I don't want to touch them. And what about Ireland? Who give a fuck about Ireland? What can I say, except you're welcome, we will declare war on Fintian government and with that we will invade Empire of Japan and deal with them in the nearest future, after that we are moving to destroy the United Chinese Front. Didn't mention before, but that's actually my favorite super event in the whole game. Minus Japan, so let's divide their lands. And of course, Taiwan is going to be my private colony. And the fate of those lands is pretty simple, we're going to annex Japan, Korea and Manjuria. Plus Taiwan is also going to be our naval base uh, in the Chinese Sea. And now we will attack Chinese alliance. So that's the partition of China, now we need to destroy Tibet, East Turkestan, Nepal and Bhutan and after that we will move to the Srebh Haratia Commune and Union of Burma. Typical day in Ohio. Thanks to our tanks, the Indian front line has totally collapsed in the west and started to collapse in the east too. Oh, so we will get even Ireland. So this is partition of India. And man, just look at this epic Russian state and our lands around the world. We've got a lot of colonies and a great sphere of influence. Moscow Accord has become an Eurasian alliance which has positions even in South America, in North America and even a good part of Africa is controlled by our alliance. No one can compare with us and with our greatness.